Our services continue on page 135. We thank you, living and eternal one, for morning light, for the breath within us, for strength and life renewed. Now it opens before us the Sabbath of Sabbaths, a gift of spacious contemplation, mirror for the soul. May we see our lives reflected in this still clear pool, a day apart, unhurried time, an undivided mind. Give us joy in this day that Israel shares. Give us presence and attention, clear vision, a listening heart, we wake to the morning, we open our eyes, we breathe your name. Page 138. Matovu o alecha Yaakov, mishkenotecha Yisrael. Matovu o alecha Yaakov, mishkenotecha Yisrael. Vani berov kazdecha, avovetecha, eshtaka vele kol kochecha, beiratecha. Matovu alecha Yaakov, mishkenotecha Yisrael, matovu. Alecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Yisrael. Adonai Ahavti Meon Betecha. Umakom Mishkan Kevodecha. Mani Eshtaka Vevekra. Every Khalif Ne Adonai Osi. Matovu Alecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Yisrael. Matovu Alecha Yaakov. Mishkenotecha Yisrael. Vani tefilati lecha Adonai et ratzon. Elohim berov kazdecha. Aneni bemet yishecha. Aneni bemet yishecha. Matovu alecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Yisrael. Matovu alecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Yisrael. Page 142, page 142. For those who study Torah, his brothers took Joseph and cast him into the pit. The pit was empty. There was no water in it. What does this verse tell us that there was no water? If the pit was empty, is that not obvious? It means that there was no water, but there were snakes and scorpions with it. Our sages teach water represents Torah, the source of life and sustenance. When the mind is empty of Torah, snakes and scorpions will enter. Fill your mind with wisdom, with moral values and teachings. You will have no room for what is vulgar, trivial, or unworthy. And as so it is written, those who love your Torah find peace. Guided by your words, they will not stumble. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ba'olam, asheke deshana demitzvotav, Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, supreme power of the universe. You sanctify our lives with mitzvot and give us sacred obligation of learning and living Torah. O God eternal, let us taste the sweetness of your Torah's words and let them give pleasure to your people, the house of Israel. 
so that we, our children and all generations of Israel to come, shall know your name and study your Torah for its own sake. Blessed are you, Adonai, who instructs our people, Israel, in the ways of the Torah. One who says, I will do no wrong and repent, I will do no wrong, I will do wrong and repent. That person Page 146. Hmm? Page 146. Oh. One who says, I will do wrong <coughs> and repent, I will do wrong and repent. That person will not be given an opportunity to repent. One who says, I will do wrong, and on the Day of Atonement, will atone. For that person, the Day of Atonement does not atone. For wrongs between a person and the all encompassing one of the Day of Atonement atones. For wrongs between one person and another, the Day of Atonement does not atone until the offender has put matters right with the one who has, was wrong. Here is how our Rabbi Eliezer in Azaria interpreted the verse. From all your wrongs you shall be made pure in the presence of Adonai. For wrongs between a person and the all-encompassing one, the Day of Atonement atones. For wrongs between one person and another, the Day of Atonement does not atone until the offender has put the matters right with the person who was wrong. We continue on page 156, page 156. <laughs> Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Yetzar Et HaAdam B'Chochmah, Uvaravo Nekavim Nekavim Chalulim Chalulim, Galui V'Yadua Lifnei Chisei Chivodecha, Sheim Yipateach Echad Mehem, O Yisatem Echad Mehem, Efshar lehit kayem vela amod lefanecha. Baruch ata Adonai, rofechol basar umaflila asot. Elo hai, elo hai, neshama. Shenatata bi tehorahi. Atavarata, atayitzarta, atanefachta bi. Atameshamra, mishamra bakir bi. Elohai, Elohai, neshama. Shenatata bi. Baruch Ata Adonai Asher Biado Nefesh Kol Chai Veruach Kol Besar Ish. We give you praise, Adonai. All life is in your hand and in your care, the soul of every human being. Page 160. You are the source of blessings, Adonai. Your great power gave the mind discernment to distinguish light from darkness. You are the source of blessings, Adonai. Your great power opens eyes that cannot see. Amen. You are the source of blessings, Adonai. Your great power brings freedom to the captive. Amen. You are the source of blessings, Adonai. Your great power lifts up the fallen. Amen. You are the source of blessings, Adonai. Your great power spreads the land upon the waters. Amen. You are the source of blessings, Adonai. Your great power has made all I need. Amen. You are the source of blessings, Adonai. Your great power gives firmness to our steps. Amen. You are the source of blessings, Adonai. Your great power clothes the naked. Amen. You are the source of blessings, Adonai. Your great power gives strength to the weary. Amen. You are the source of blessings, Adonai. Your great power removes sleep from my eyes, slumber from my eyelids. Amen. You are the source of blessings, Adonai. Your great power made me in the image of God. Amen. You are the source of blessings, Adonai. Your great power endowed me with human freedom. Amen. 
You are the source of blessings, Adonai. Your great power has made me Yisrael. Amen. You are the source of blessings, Adonai. Your great power gives strength to Yisrael. Amen. You are the source of blessings, Adonai. Your great power crowns Yisrael with glory. Amen. Amen. Page 164. Praise is the one who spoke the world into being. Praised is God. Praise, Praise the one, one who was ever created. created. Praise the one who creates with a word. Praise, Praise the, the one, one whose vision is made real. Praise the one who loves the earth. Praise, Praise the, the one who loves earth's creatures. creatures. Praise the one who worshipers no goodness. Praise, Praise the one whose life and being last forever. Praise the one who rescues and sets free. Your blessed, blessed is your name. Our sovereign, we praise you with songs of celebration. Your oneness is the life of the cosmos. Baruch atah Adonai, melech mechulal v'tishbachot. Blessed are you, Adonai. Your majesty is celebrated in songs of praise. Page 170. From Egypt you redeemed us, Adonai, our God, and from a world of slavery you saved us. In times of hunger you fed us, in times of plenty you nourished us. You turned our blight to blessing, spared us from suffering, and rescued us from the sword. Your mercy supports us, and your love abides now as in the past. Never forsake us, Adonai, our God, never turn away. Holy One, infinite in your power, radiant your glory, unbounded your might, awe-inspiring your works. Hamelech Yoshev al Kiseh Ramvenisa, majestic God, today enthroned beyond time and space. <coughs> Eternally present, your name is hallowed on high, and the psalmist sang, Rejoice in Adonai, you righteous. Let the upright adorn you with praise. Page 176. Yitkadah, the Yitkadah, Shemera Bah, Amen. Me Alma, the Vrahirute, me Amlich Machute, 
on page cosmos, who opens for us the gates of compassion and lights up the eyes of those who await forgiveness, shaper of light, source of the darkness, maker of peace, creator of all. Infinite light is preserved in life's treasure house. Lights from the darkness, said God, and it was so. In love you bring light to the earth and its creatures. Your goodness renews the creation each day. Infinite, varied, and rich are your works, divine artist, all of them wrought with wisdom. The whole earth is teeming with life. Awestruck by the universe, work of your hands, let all life bless you, praise you, and celebrate the beauty of your lights. May you shine a new light on Zion, and may we soon be privileged to share in that light. Baruch atah Adonai. Our praise to you, Adonai, creator of the cosmic light. Love abundant, love unstinting, our God, you have enfolded us in love. Tender compassion beyond all bounds, your precious gift. Our fathers and mothers gave you their trust, and you gave them Torah, laws by which to live. For their sake, teach us as well. <coughs> Grace us with your guidance. Loving Father, merciful Mother of us all, grant us clear understanding that we may listen, learn, and teach. Preserve, practice, and fulfill with love every lesson of your Torah. May learning your Torah light up our eyes. May our hearts embrace your mitzvot. Unite us in love and reverence for you, that we may never feel ashamed of our deeds. We have trusted in your great and holy name. Now let us celebrate at last the joy of your salvation. Bring us in peace from the four corners of the earth. Lead us with upright pride to the land that is ours. For you are a God of miracles and wonders. From all the peoples of the earth you sought us out and brought us near to your great enduring truth. So with love we acknowledge and proclaim that you are one. Baruch Adonai, Yisrael Yisrael 
Our praise to you, Adonai. You have singled out your people, Israel, with love. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem, Kevod Machuto. Please be seated. Vishinatam levanecha, Vidibar tabaham, Vishitaka vetecha, who left a taba derek, who shoved the car, who mecha, who shatam leho da yadecha, the hyula tota fold, bane necha, Uktatam om imzot betecha uvisharecha leman tiskeru vasitem et kol mitzvotai vitem kerushim leloechem ani adonai leloechem. Asher tzeti echem me'eret mitzrayim liyod lachem lelohim ani Adonai Eloheichem Adonai Eloheichem emet. Page one hundred and ninety-four. <clears throat> From Egypt you redeemed us. Adonai, our God, and from the slave house you set us free. For this the people who felt your love exalted you, and the ones you found precious sang hymns of praise, blessing and thanks to the living God who reigns forever. High and exalted, inspiring wonder, who humbles the proud and raises the lowly, who frees the captive, redeems the oppressed, and sustains the poor. God responds to the cry of our people, their prayer in time of need. Sing praise to God Most High, most blessed source of blessing, as Moses, Miriam, and all Israel sang this joyous song to you. Michamocha Bailim Adonai, Michamocha Nedar Bakodesh, Norata Hilot, O Sefer. In the depths of the night by the edge of the river, Jacob was left alone. In heartfelt longing in the temple of God, Hannah uttered her prayer alone. 
In the barren wilderness, in doubt and despair, Elijah found God alone. On the holiest day in the Holy of Holies, the high priest entered alone. We are bound to one another in myriad ways, but each soul needs time to itself. In solitude, we meet the solitary one. Silence makes space for the still small voice. For the psalmist says, deep calls unto deep. From the depths of our soul, we seek what is most profound. Please rise. Adonai sephatite tahu via gita gilatecha. Adonai, open my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohei avoteinu bimoteinu, Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Leah, Elohei Rachel, Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor Hanorah. So <laughs> Please be seated as we continue on page 208. Our sovereign God of pardon and forgiveness, let these words of sanctity ascend to you. Unatane tokef kedushat hayom ki hunora vayom uvoti nase. Oh. 
Let us proclaim the power of this day, a day whose holiness awakens deepest awe and inspires highest praise for your dominion. For your throne is a throne of love, your reign is a reign of truth. In truth, you are judge and plaintiff, counselor and witness. You inscribe and seal, you record and recount. You remember all that we have forgotten. And when you open the book of memories, it speaks for itself. For every human hand leaves its mark, an imprint like no other. And so a great shofar will cry to Kia, a still small voice will be heard. Angels in a whirl of fear and trembling will say, <laughs> Behold the day of judgment, for they too are judged. In your eyes even they are not blameless. All who come into the world pass before you, like sheep before their shepherd, as a shepherd considers the flock, when it passes beneath the staff, you count and consider every life. You set bounds, you decide destiny. You inscribe judgments. Rosh Hashanah we own some people, Kamayi barayun, mi yikyeo mi amut, mi vakitso, u mi lo vakitso. Barosh hashana, ikatevun, uvayom sam kippur, uvayom sam kippur. Yeah, I Mi va cherev, mi va chaya, mi va raav, u mi va tsama. Barosh hashanah, ikatevun, uve yom tsam kippur, uve yom tsam kippur, yechatemun. On Rosh Hashanah, this is written. On the fast of Yom Kippur, this is sealed. How many will pass away from this world? How many will be born into it? Who will live and who will die? Who will reach the ripeness of age? Who will be taken before their time? Who by fire and who by water? Who by war and who by beast? Who by famine and who by drought? Who by earthquake and who by plague? Who by strangling and who by stoning? Who will rest and who will wander? Who will be tranquil and who will be troubled? Who will be calm and who tormented? Who will live in poverty and who in prosperity? 
Who will be humbled and who exalted? But through the return to the right path, through prayer and righteous giving, we can transcend the harshness of the decree. Et roa gazera, ma virin, ma virin, et roa gazera. You are everything that we praise for you for, slow to anger and quick to forgive. You do not wish the death of sinners, but urge them to return for their, from their ways and live. Until the day of death, you wait for them. You accept them at once if they return. Since you created us, you know our impulses. We are but flesh and blood. We who are mortal, our origin is dust and so is our end. We wear out our lives to get our bread, like broken vessels, like withered grass, like a flower that must fade, a shadow moving on, a cloud passing by, mere dust on the wind, a dream that flies away. But for you, ever-living sovereign, time has no limits. Your presence, unbounded by days and years, is everywhere, a glorious mystery none can decipher. Your name is worthy of you, and you are worthy of your name, and our name you have linked with yours. Please rise on page 218. <laughs> Kakatuva yad nevi echa, vekera zai ze el ze ve amar. Kadosh, 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 Adonai tzvaot, melochol ha'aretz kibodo. Adi. Adirainu, adir, adirainu, Adonai, Adonainu, ma adir, ma adir, shimachal, bechol haaretz, baruch kibod Adonai, Eternal shall reign for all time, your God, for all generations, Zion. Hallelujah. We will teach your greatness, Lador Vador, from generation to generation, and to the end of time, we will affirm your holiness. 
Our God, your praise shall ever be on our lips, for your power is boundless, sovereign, and holy. Please be seated as we continue on page 222. <clears throat> How do we sense God's holiness? And so, in your holiness, give all creation the gift of awe. Turn our fear to reverence. Let us be witnesses of wonder, perceiving all nature as a prayer come alive. We bow to the sovereignty of your strength, the primacy of your, pr primacy of your power. We yearn for connection with all that lives, doing your will with holiness of heart, Awe-inspiring is your creation, all-encompassing your, your transcendent name. How do we sense God's holiness? And so, in your holiness, give your people the gift of honor. Bless with praise <coughs> those who praise you. Bless with hope those who seek you. Give your believers a basis for faith, true happiness for the land of Israel, true joy in Jerusalem. May the sparks of David, your servant, soon grow bright enough for, for us to see, a beam of light in the darkness, a promise of per perfection. How do we sense God's holiness? And so, in your holiness, give the righteous gift of a vision bright with joy, a world where evil has no voice, and the rule of malevolence fades like wisps of smoke. Of smoke. Good people everywhere will celebrate the stunning sight of arrogance gone from the earth. You and you alone, Adonai, will reign over creation upon Mount Zion, home of your presence, and in Jerusalem, a city set apart by you. As the psalmist believed, the eternal shall reign for all time. Your God for all gener generations, Zion, hallelujah. You are holy, your name is awe. There is nothing divine beyond you, as the prophet Isaiah taught. The source of all might is, might is exalted through justice, and the God of holiness made holy through righteousness. Baruch atah Adonai, hamelach kadosh. Blessed are you, Adonai, holy sovereign. We continue on page 232. Eloheinu velohe avotenu v'imotenu, ya'ale v'yavo v'yiga'a v'yera eh. Our God and God of the generations before us, may a memory of us ascend and come before you. May it be heard and seen by you, winning your favor and reaching your awareness, together with the memory of our ancestors, the memory of your sacred city, Jerusalem, and the memory of your people, the family of Israel. May we be remembered for safety, well-being, and favor, for love and compassion, for life and for peace, on this day of atonement. Zochreinu Adonai Eloheinu bo letova. Amen. Ufokdeinu vo livracha. Amen. Vahoshienu vo lechaim. Amen. Eternal our God, remember us. Amen. Be mindful of us. Amen. And redeem us for a life of goodness and blessing. Amen. Page 234. Our God and God of our forebears, pardon our failings on this day of atonement, erase our misdeeds, see beyond our defiance. For Isaiah said in your name, it is I, I alone, who wipe away your defiant acts. This is my essence. I shall pay no heed to your errors. And the prophet said, as a cloud fades away, as mist dissolves into air, so your wrongs and mistakes shall be gone. I will wipe them away. Come back to me, that I may redeem you. As you said to Moses, for on this day atonement shall be made for you, to purify you from all your wrongs, and pure you shall be in the presence of Adonai. God who is ours and God of our fathers and mothers, lead us to holiness through your mitzvot, and may each of us find a portion of Torah that is ours. You bestow such goodness, teach us to be satisfied and to know the joy of your salvation. Help us to serve you truly with purity of heart, for you are the forgiver of Israel. 
in every generation granting pardon to the tribes of Yeshurun. We have no God of forgiveness and pardon, but you, you alone. You are blessed, Adonai, sovereign, who forgives our failings and pardons the failings of your people, the house of Israel. You banish our guilt from year to year. You reign in majesty over all the earth. You sanctify the people, Israel, and the day of atonement. Eternal our God, your people Israel yearns for your favor. Receive their prayer with loving acceptance, and may you always desire your people's worship. Divine one, close to all who call upon you. Bring your grace and presence near to those who serve you. Pour forth your spirit upon us, and may our eyes see your merciful return to Zion. Baruch ata Adonai, hamachazir shechinatol Zion. Blessed are you whose divine presence is felt again in Zion. Adonai <laughs> the stillness of a snowfall, for a breath of autumn air, for the grasp within my fingers, for a mind that makes me whole, for the voice that God has given me to speak the truth within my soul. Mohuti manachnu Blessed are you, Adonai, whose goodness deserves thanks and praise. Page 244. Eloheinu velohe avotenu imotenu barchenu babracha hamishuleshet haketuva batora. Our God and divine presence whose path our ancestors walked. Bless us now with the words first bestowed on Israel in the time of Moses and Aaron. 
the threefold blessing given us through Torah that joins our hopes with theirs. May God bless you and protect you. May you receive the light of God's kindness and grace. May God bestow favor upon you and give you peace. Page 246. We continue silently, pages 248 to 251.
responsively on page 252. Avinu Malkenu Shema Kolenu. Avinu Malkenu Chatanu Lefanecha. Avinu Malkenu Chamol Alenu Ve'al Ol Alenu Ve'tapenu. Avinu Malkenu, have compassion on us and our families. Avinu Malkenu Kale Dever Vecher Vera'av Mealenu. Avinu Malkenu halt the onslaught of sickness, violence, and hunger. Avinu Malkenu Kale Koltsar Umastin Mealenu. Avinu Malkenu halt the reign of those who cause pain and terror. Avinu Malkenu Kotvenu Besefer Chaim Tovim. Avinu Malkenu enter our names in the book of lives well lived. Avinu Malkenu Chadesh Alenu Shana Tova. Avinu Malkenu, renew for us a year of goodness. Avinu Malkenu, male yadenu mi birchotecha. Avinu Malkenu, let our hands overflow with your blessings. Avinu Malkenu, harem keren mishichecha. Avinu Malkenu, let our eyes behold the dawn of redemption. Avinu Malkenu, na'al tishivenu rekam milfanecha. Avinu Malkenu, we pray. Do not turn us away from you with nothing. Avinu Malkenu, Kabel Berachamim Uvratson et Tefilatenu. Avinu Malkenu, welcome our prayer with love, accept and embrace it. Avinu Malkenu, Ase Imanu Lama'an Shemecha. Avinu Malkenu, act toward us as befits your name. Avinu Malkenu, Ase Lama'an Cha, Im Lo Lama'an Nenu. Avinu Malkenu, act for your sake, if not for ours. Avinu Malkenu, ein lanu melech ela ech ata. Avinu Malkenu, you alone are our sovereign. Avinu Malkenu, petach sha'are shamayim l'tfilatenu. Avinu Malkenu, let the gates of heaven be open to our prayer. Avinu Malkenu, shema kolenu, chus v'rachem alenu. Avinu Malkenu, hear our voice, treat us with tender compassion. Avinu Malkenu, Honenu va Anenu, Ki en Banu ma Asim, Ase Imanu Tsadaka va Chesed ve Hoshienu. Avinu Malkenu, Almighty and Merciful, answer us with grace, for our deeds are wanting. Save us through acts of justice and love. Avinu Malkenu, Honenu va Anenu. Avinu Marke, Chonenu Vanenu, Yen Banu Masi, Ase Manu, Tzedaka Vachesed, Ase Manu, Tzedaka Vachesed, Behoshienu, Ase Manu, Tzedaka v'chesed Ase imanu tzedaka v'chesed Ve'hoshienu Seder Kriyat Torah, the order for the reading of Torah on page 254, page 254. Let the reading of Torah be like prayer, a meditation to remind us what we strive for, a chant that binds us to the chain of generations. Let the reading of Torah be like prayer, a moment of purest solidarity with our people's hopes and history, an invitation to affirm or dissent, to challenge or believe, to ask why or say amen. Let the reading of Torah be like prayer, flowing like waters that renew the spirit, refreshing and sweet to nourish the soul, let the reading of Torah be like prayer, every word a blessing, every verse a conversation with God. Please rise. Ein kamocha v'alohim Adonai ve'ein kamasecha Malachutcha, malachut kol olamim U'memshavtcha bechodor v'ador Adonai Melech, 
Adonai Malach, Adonai Imloch, Leolam Vaed, Adonai Oz Lamo Yitain, Adonai Yvarech et Amo Vashalom, Adonai Yvarech et Amo Vashalom. Av harachamim, etiv avetzon chayt zion, tiv nechomot Yerushalayim, tiv nechomot Yerushalayim, ki v'chal v'ad betachnu, melech erom nisa, adon olami. Vichanun erech apayim verab chesed ve'emet. Notzer chesed la alafim no se avon va fesha vehata avinake. Adonai Adonai el rachum vichanun erech apayim verab chesed ve'emet. Notzer chesed la alafim no se avon va fesha vehata avinake. Adonai Adonai, God compassionate, gracious, endlessly patient, loving, and true, showing mercy to the thousandth generation. Forgiving evil, defiance, and wrongdoing, granting pardon. Adonai, Adonai, El Rachum Vachanun, Erech Apayim, Ve'irav Chesed, Ve. Blessings for the reading of Torah can be found on page 258. You can follow along in the reading of Torah on page 266. Page 266 to follow along the reading. The blessings are on page 258. Yeah. 
Amod, Paul Desher La Aliyah La Torah. Baruch Adonai Hamarach Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamarach Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam. Asher Bacha Borno Mikol Ho'amim. Benatan Lanu Et Torato. Baruch Atah Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Atem Nitzavim Hayom Kulchem Lifnei Adonai Eloheichem. Roshechem, Shivtechem, Ziknechem, Veshotrechem, Kol Ish, Yisrael, Tapchem, Neshechem, Vegercha, Asher, Bekerev, Machanecha, Mechotev, Etsecha, Ad Shoev, Memecha, Laovrecha, Bivrit, Adonai, Elohecha, Uva Alato, Asher, Adonai, Elohecha, Koret, Imcha, Hayom, Lamaan, Hakim, Itcha hayom lo la'am uh, Adonai uh, yihye lach le lohim ka'asher diber lach uh, v'cha'asher nishba la'avotecha la'avraham li'itzchak u'li'yaakov v'lo itchem levadchem anochi koret et habrit hazot v'et uh, ha'ala Hazot ki et asher yeshno po imanu uh, omed hayom lifne Adonai Eloheinu ve et asher enenu po imanu hayom. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher. I'm sorry. <coughs> May the one who brought blessings to our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to our mothers, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, Bring the blessing of health to those who are ill. Arlene Arcus, Sarah Baker, <coughs> Stacy Cotri Frankel, Annabeth Denny, Howard Franklin, David Gurevich, Sharon Cassid, Ketter Levy, Howard Lieberman, Paulette McDermott, Joyce Metz, Mark Nelson, Rabbi Cheryl Peretz, Tracy Phillips, <coughs> Alexander Retsky, Jerry Retsky, <coughs> Benet Turner, Blanche Weinberger, Logan Witt, Robert Witt, Susan Witt, as well as all of those whom we mention within our hearts. May the Holy One, be, may the Holy One blessed source of life and healing, sustain and strengthen them with compassion and restore them to full health without delay. For all who struggle against illness, let renewal of spirit and renewal of body come soon, and together we say, Amen. Page 272. Rephaenu Adonai Vene Rachel Hoshienu Hail Karov le Chol Karav, a Karov li Reav Yisho. We pray for healing of the body. We pray for healing of the soul. 
for strength of flesh and mind and spirit. We pray to once again be whole. Hail Narefana. Oh, please heal us now. Refuat ha nefesh, refuat ha guf, refuat shelema. We pray for healing of our people. We pray for healing of the land. And peace for every race and nation. Every child, every woman, every man. El Narefana. Oh, please heal us now. Refuat ha nefesh, refuat ha guf, refuat Shalema, Elna Refana. Oh, please heal us now. Refuat ha nefesh, Refuat ha guf, Refuat Shalema. Page 274, please rise. We stand before the tree of life, source of our strength, our comfort, and our challenge, our call to holiness. We stand before the tree of life, our Torah, ancient yet ever renewed, its message for all people, its words speak to all generations, its truths endure and give hope. Like those who came before us, we carry the Torah in our midst and hold it close. For those who will come after, we preserve and cherish its teachings. This is the Torah, our gift, our blessing, and our responsibility. In reverence and gratitude, we stand, all of us this day, before the tree of life. Vezot HaTorah asher samoshe Livnei b'nei Yisrael Al pi Adonai beyad Moshe Yai lai lai lai, yai lai 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 Yai lai lai lai, yai lai lai I lie, 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 I lie, 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 yeah, lie, 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 yeah, lie, lie, I lie, lie, I lie, 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 yeah, lie, lie, I lie, I lie, I lie, 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 yeah, lie, 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 I lie, 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 yeah, lie, 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 lie. I lie, lie, I, I lie, lie, I lie, I lie, lie, I lie, lie, I lie, lie, I lie, 
Seated. The blessing before Haftarah can be found on page 275. Page 275. Cry from the death, says God. Do, do not hold back. Lift up your voice like the shofar. Tell my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sin. <clears throat> yes, they seek me daily, though eager to learn my ways. If they were a nation that does what is right and has not abandoned God's law, they ask of me the right way, eager for God's nearness. They say, why did we fast and you do not see it? We afflict ourselves, and you do not know it, because even on your fast day you think only of desire, while oppressing all who work for you. Because your fasting is filled with strife, and with callous fist you strike. No, your fasting this day will not lift up your voice before heaven. Is this the fast I desire? A day to afflict body and soul? Bowing your head like a reed, covering yourself with sackcloth and ashes? Do you call this a fast, a day worthy of the favor of Adonai? Is this not the fast I desire? To break the bonds of injustice and remove the heavy yoke? To let the oppressed go free and release all those enslaved? Is, this not, is it not to share your bread with the hungry and to take the homeless poor into your home and never neglect your own flesh and blood? Then shall your light burst forth like the dawn, and your wounds shall quickly heal, your, your righteous one leading the way before you, the presence of Adonai guarding you from behind. Then, when you call, Adonai will answer, and when you cry, will respond, I am here. If you remove the chains of oppression, the menacing hand, the malicious word, if you offer your compassion to the hungry and satisfy the suffering, then shall your light shine through the darkness, and your night become bright as noon. Adonai will guide you always. Slake your thirst in parched places, give strength to your bones. You shall be like a well-watered garden, an unfailing spring. From you they will rebuild ancient ruins, lay foundations for ages to come, and you shall be called the one who mends the breach and brings back the streets for dwelling. If you cease to trample Shabbat, stop pursuing your affairs on my holy day. If you call Shabbat a delight and a, the holy day of Adonai honored, if you honor God, by not doing business or speaking of everyday matters, then shall you take pure delight in Adonai. I will lift up your journey on earth to the highest of places and nourish you from the heritage of your father Jacob. For thus spoke Adonai. Page 280 for the blessing after Haftarah. Baruch Adonai. Eloheinu melech haolam, sor kol haolamim, tzadik vecho hajarot, ha'el ha'neman, ha'omer v'oseh, ha'mdaber u'mkayem, shechol tivarag, emet v'atzedek. Aho Torah, yahavodah, yahanvi'in, v'ayom ha'kipurim hazeh, shenatata lanu, Adonai Eloheinu, Page 
On page 290, please rise. Ya hallelujah, shame Adonai, he ni his gav, shemo levado. O do aleretz, vishamayim, la yarem keren, leamo, to heal la kol kasi. Leave Israel on the road. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. He lechatov matati lechem dorati al ta'azobu Et chayim hi La machazikim ba V'tomechecha Me'ushar Derache I've been a rabbi for a while now, and I've written a lot of sermons, some good, some bad, and a whole lot in the middle. What I have noticed over the years is that it's easier to write, and you end up with a better sermon when you know what you want to say. When you know what you want to say, the words flow, the analogies leap to mind, the quotes are easily pulled from Jewish tradition. When you don't know what to say, you kind of ramble. It's all kind of incoherent, and, and sometimes it's self-contradictory, kind of like now. Yeah, this isn't going to be a great sermon, because I really, really don't know what to say. But at least I've already used up a minute or so, so really I only have to fill another, you know, 12 or 13 minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah. You should probably know I want to talk about Israel. Probably important for you to know the topic that I'm just sort of rambling on about. I do love Israel, you know. There is something special about the place when I visit. 
I feel very at home when I visit. I know, it's true, I lived there for a year, so it should feel like home because it was for a year. But it's changed so much since I lived there 23 years ago. And the thing is, I felt the same sense of being at home the first time I visited on a Pan Am tour 35 years ago. And I had never been outside of the United States at that point. Okay, maybe the Canadian side of Niagara Falls, but does that really count? Really? I guess I've always felt a deep sense of personal connection. Maybe it's the way I was brought up. I mean, my first memory of Israel as a country was the fear that my parents felt during the Yom Kippur War in 1973. For some reason, my mother knit helmet liners as a part of the war effort, but of course the war was over so quickly, they never got sent. So I ended up with a balaclava, which I remember as being really cool, because I was wearing the same kind of hat that the victorious Israeli soldiers would have worn if they had ever been shipped. What was I talking about? Oh, right. Why I love Israel. Yeah. I don't know. I just do. Kachazeh. I love Israel. But I don't always like what the government of Israel does. I am so annoyed by how I get treated by the Israeli government as a proud member of the Reform Jewish movement. We had long negotiations with the government to set aside a space at the Western Wall where Reform, Conservative, Reconstructionist Jews, any Jew that feels that women should be allowed to worship in the same space at the same time with men could go to worship. Okay, so it's around the corner and part of the Southern Wall and not really the Western Wall. Okay, so it's separate and very unequal, but at least a compromise was reached to prevent the women of the Wall from being harassed and assaulted just for trying to pray. At least there would be one egalitarian worship space at the Temple Mount. And what did the government do? They stopped building it and unilaterally decided not to continue with it. Sometimes they make me feel like I'm not really welcome in Israel or considered equal there just because I'm not orthodox. I mean, it's not even like most Jewish Israelis bother going to the Western Wall. Really, something like 70% of the Jewish Israelis are secular. But they say that the Judaism that they don't observe is orthodoxy. It's so frustrating. In any case, they made an agreement after extensive negotiations, and then they didn't live up to it. The thing is, I'm a Jewish man. If I want to pray at the wall, I can. I'm privileged that way. If I feel marginalized by the Israeli government, all the more so women who are physically prevented from praying. And even more than that, non-Jewish Israeli citizens who aren't treated equally by the Israeli government. If you are Jewish and want a building permit to build on your own land, it's a bureaucratic mess, but you can do it. If you are not Jewish and want a building permit to build on your own land, it's a bureaucratic mess, but good luck with that. And I find that offensive and morally reprehensible. Exodus 12.49 states, There shall be one law for the citizen and for the stranger who dwells among you. Leviticus 24.22 states, You shall have one standard for stranger and citizen alike, for I, the Eternal, am your God. Numbers 15.15 15 states, There shall be one law for you and for the resident stranger. It shall be a law for all time throughout the ages. You and the stranger shall be alike before the Eternal. Yeah, I think I'm on pretty solid ground when I say that equality before the law should be the Jewish standard and that the Israeli government should live up to that Jewish standard of equality before the law. And if you don't want to rely on a biblical text, 
Then go back to the Israeli Declaration of Independence, in which you can find this clause. It, the State of Israel, will ensure complete equality of social and political rights to all its inhabitants, irrespective of religion, race, or sex. So no, I don't always like the way the Israeli government acts, even while I still love Israel. You know what I do hate? I hate the haters. There's the standard old-school anti-Semitism coming from the neo-Nazis and the white supremacists. That I had to deal with for my entire life. All the way back in elementary school, Bobby would chuck pennies at me and taunt, look at the Jew, run for money. That kind of anti-Semitism I have learned how to cope with. But the anti-Zionism that comes from the left really riles me up. Now, I am not in their hearts to be able, for sure, to label anti-Zionism as anti-Semitism. But I have my suspicions. For all the faults that I can lay at the doorstep of the Israeli government, it is not an apartheid state. How can it be when Israeli Arabs sit in Knesset and one Arab party is a member of the ruling coalition? It is a country divided by ethnic conflict between Arabs and Jews, but it is not an apartheid state. To call Israel an apartheid state is to delegitimize Israel's very existence, to say that it shouldn't even exist. Which brings me to the second critique that makes me slightly crazy or more crazy than I already am. I hate it with a passion when people say that Israel is a Western colonizer state, that Jews don't belong in the Middle East, that they come from Europe originally. You know why the French are called French? It's because they're from France. The Japanese are Japanese because they're from Japan. And the Jews are Jews because we're originally from Judea. Jews have lived in the land of Israel continuously for 3,000 years. We may not have been in power, but we've lived there, and it's where we're from. But the ethnic conflict, it troubles me. I believe that the Palestinian people should be self-governing just as the Jewish people should be self-governing. I just don't know how to get there. I used to believe that if they just had self-rule, there could be peaceful coexistence. But when Ehud Barak in 2000 offered Yasser Arafat a deal giving up somewhere between 91 and 95 percent of the West Bank with compensating land in the South, Arafat made no counteroffer and the process collapsed. When Ariel Sharon unilaterally evacuated Gaza in August of 2005, uprooting the Jewish settlers who had been living there, it did not start a period of peaceful coexistence. And today, Gaza is a base for terror attacks against Israelis, and Palestinians live in unspeakable squalor. I just wish it could end peacefully and justly. I wish I knew what to say. But I got nothing. I love Israel, but I'm also annoyed by it. I want it to be safe, but I also want it to be moral. What am I supposed to say? I have no idea. But hey, look at that. My time's up. I guess I'm finished. I'd like to invite Terry Siegel for some announcements.
Shana Tova. Thank you, Rabbi Sturman, for your words, even though they were maybe not planned, but <laughs> it's um, inspiring. And Randy and John, again, for your, your beautiful music. Um, normally, we were joined on the BMO with um, several folks, and this morning I'd like to honor some of our staff that keeps the temple running, especially during these events. Executive Director Dottie Fox, thank you. Director of Education Valerie Klein, and all the teachers of our religious school, thank you. Um, Jenny Clays, who r helps us with our newsletter, Shabbat emails, and Saul Friedenberg, our Zoom and webmaster, and Sheila Gardner, our temple administrator. One last time, I'd like to thank all those that were in preparation for these services. Thank you to Rabbi Sternman, Dottie Fox, Faith Retzke, Kevin Spinhern, and the Religious Practices Committee for all that you do planning these holidays. And, and again, I just want to recognize the um, last time, I can't say enough to thanks um, for the Preston Meadow Lutheran Church. Um, from the minute we started talking about having high holy days here, they've helped remove any and all obstacles in making this happen. I want to um, give a heart of my, my gratitude to, the, um, to um, Pastor Paul and everyone who uh, made this um, possible. Um, thank you again to um, Dana Goldstein, Paul Desher, and the Brotherhood for all the logistics of moving the ark and helping us with ushering. A few quick announcements. Immediately following this service, we'll be having the um, study then healing services. The afternoon services will be followed by our Yuskor and concluding service. And I want to send out a big thank you to Sheila Gardner, our temple administrator, for her hard work in, um, on the memorial books that we'll be using today in the Yisker service. Um, like I mentioned last night, we will break fast at the end of the day um, after our concluding services, just directly out in the lobby, approximately 6.30ish. Um, please plan on enjoying everyone's um, company safely as we enjoy some, some simple treats. Um, next Monday at 7 p.m., we'll be celebrating Sukkot Festival evening service outside um, at the Legacy under their sukkah. And be sure to join us for our concluding High Holiday Celebration, Simchat Torah, as we unroll the scroll. The exact location, um, timing, that's still to be determined, um, but you'll always find all the details to our service times. Um, they, can, they can be found along with links on our website. Um, also, we are... Um, we're, we're, we're looking for the, um, a location to hold our Friday night Shabbat services. I believe tomorrow is still going to be online um, um, because of some of the changes with, the, um, with COVID at the Legacy. So just um, we'll, we'll try to send out messages and keep that, our website up to date with that information. So thank you and good yantav. I also want to just thank the, uh, the Preston Meadow Lutheran Church for everything that they have done to make us feel so very welcome here and to allow our worship to be so meaningful as we gather together. I don't know if you noticed it as, uh, as you were driving up, but I noticed it this morning. They even put on the, uh, on the sign out front, Gemar Chatima Tova. Uh, you can't, in both English and Hebrew letters, so you can't get much more welcoming than that. We continue on page 292, page 292. We stand in humility, conscious of our failings. Shema Kolenu, Adonai, hear our call. True sacrifice to God is a penitent spirit. You treasure a crushed and repentant heart, for you are close to the brokenhearted and you give strength to a suffering soul. You are the healer of shattered hearts. You are the one who binds up their wounds. For thus says the high and exalted one, who lives forever, whose name is holy. I dwell in a high and holy place, but also with the downcast and lonely, lowly, to bring new life to despondent souls, to restore and revive repentant hearts. Return now, Israel, to Adonai your God, for you have fallen because of your sin. Take words with you and return to God. Ask the Eternal, forgive what is wrong, accept what is good. We stand in humility, conscious of our failings. We set before you the wrongs we have done. We trust in your compassion, for you know who we are. Shema Kolenu Adonai, hear our call. Sh 
Adonai Eloheinu, who's for Rachem Aleinu, the Kabel Berachamim of et Tefilateinu, Hashiveinu Adonai Elecha, Venashu. Page 296. Elohei velohei avotenu v'imotenu, tavo lefanecha tefilatenu, our God and God of all generations, may our prayers reach your presence, and when we turn to you, do not be indifferent. Adonai, we are arrogant and stubborn, claiming to be blameless and free of sin. In truth, we have stumbled and strayed. We have done wrong. Please ah. rise. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I Hevinu, Hevinu, the Hirshanu, the Hirshanu, Zadnu, Zadnu, Hamasnu, Hamasnu, Tafalnu Shaker, Tafalnu Shaker, I died, I died, I died, I died, I Ya atsnu ra kizavnu kizavnu latsnu latsnu maradnu maradnu ni atsnu ni atsnu sararnu sararnu avinu avinu pashanu pashanu sararnu sararnu kishinu ore Kishinu Orev. I died, 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 I Titanu, I died, I died, I Of these wrongs we are guilty. We betray, we steal, we scorn, we act perversely, we are cruel, we scheme, we are violent, we slander, we devise evil, we lie, we ridicule, we disobey. We abuse, we defy, we corrupt, we commit crimes. We are hostile, we are stubborn, we are immoral. We kill, we spoil, we go astray, we lead others astray. Please be seated as we continue on page 300. For these sins, our God, we ask forgiveness. The ways, the ways we, have we have wronged you under duress and by choice. choice. And harm, and harm we have, we have caused, caused in your, your world consciously and unconsciously. The ways we have wronged you through our thoughtlessness, and harm we have caused in your world through impulsive acts of malice. The ways we have wronged you by abusing our power, and harm we have caused in your world through disrespect to parents and teachers. The ways we have wronged you by giving in to our hostile impulses, and harm we have caused in your world through inflexibility and stubbornness. The ways we have wronged you through lies and deceit, and harm we have caused in your world by making light of serious matters. 
the ways we have wronged you in our routine conversations and the harm we have caused in your world through envy. For all these failures of judgment and will, God of forgiveness, forgive us, pardon us, lead us to atonement. The ways we have wronged you openly and secretly, and harm we have caused in your world by hating without cause. The ways we have wronged you by losing self-control, and harm we have caused in your world through consumption of food and drink. The ways we have wronged you through sexual immorality, and harm we have caused in your world by hardening our hearts. The ways we have wronged you through greed and exploitation, and harm we have caused in your world through dishonesty in business. The ways we have wronged you through our innermost thoughts, and harm we have caused in your world through gossip and rumor. The ways we have wronged you by offering or accepting bribes, and harm we have caused in your world by profaning your name in public. For all these failures of judgment and will, God of forgiveness, forgive us, pardon us, lead us to atonement. Continue silently on pages 308 and 309. Page 313. Let us affirm the good we have done. Let us acknowledge our acts of healing and repair. For the good we have done by acting with self-restraint and self-control. For the good we have done through acts of generosity and compassion. For the good we have done by offering children our love and support. For the good we have done by honoring our parents with care and respect for the good we have done through acts of friendship and hospitality, for the good we have done through acts of forgiveness and reconciliation, for the good we have done by keeping promises and honoring commitments, for the good we have done through the works of our hands and by serving others, for the good we have done by caring for the earth and sustaining its creatures, for the good we have done by housing the homeless, feeding the hungry and welcoming the stranger, for the good we have done by acting with integrity and honesty. For the good we have done through thoughtful and encouraging words. For the good we have done by caring for our health and that of our loved ones. For the good we have done by strengthening our Jewish community. For the good we have done through acts of civic engagement and tikkun olam. 
For all the all these have brought light and healing into the world. May these acts inspire us to renew our efforts in the year to come. On page 318. Infinite source of goodness, help us to see the good in ourselves, in others, and in the world around us. Teach us to cultivate a discerning mind, to know right from wrong, and a listening heart open to love and forgiveness. Guide us to walk in your ways with integrity, ever faithful to the promises our forebears made, and may your goodness inspire us to do what is just and right. Strengthen us this day. Amen. Bless us this day. Amen. This day exalt us. Amen. Show us kindness this day. Amen. Inscribe us this day for a life of goodness. Amen. This day hear our cry. Amen. Now and always support us with the strength of your righteousness. Amen. Our services continue at 3.30. Amen. 